Hani evet. şarkı ilk çıkmıyor ne oldu? Ka? Ha bu ağabey. Çıkmıyor. Çıkmıyor cinde miko günah koyak şarkı var. Ne? Ka? Ha bu ağabey. Tek katte. Uyunum ki kaç gen var bu. Uyunum ki Okay, habuka. Okay, I want to talk about smallness. Gotcha. We have. Uh, I can do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Smallness. Uh, uh, what do I want to do? The end. The end with. And end. And the end with and and, and there's. The endings are, endings are, as, as, us, and is. These are the endings for diminutive terms, diminutive, smallness terms, diminutive terms, diminutive terms. Uh, I'm going to take one word. I'm going to take the first word. I'm going to take a, you got to tell me what this means in English. I mean, in Nishinaabe, you got to tell me what it means. How do you say this in Nishinaabe? Anybody? Ambe, ambe, ambe. Daban. 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 Okay. Now I want to say little car. I want to say. Daban S. So there's my ending. There's an ending right there. Daban S. Daban S. That's one of my endings. The first one. Okay. I'm going to take another word. I'm going to take another word. This word, table. Dopin. 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 Okay, now how do we say little table? Dopoins. 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 Caitlin, you should be really good at this because your kids are really good at this. Your kids are really good at this. Um, Kate's not here yet. Oh, yeah, her kids, her kids are really good at this. It's cool. Uh, I'm gonna take another word, and I'm gonna take Malé. Malés. Oh, I, I talked about that because my dad is Joelic, so I'm a Joelicons. Your dad was Musgai, so you're a Musgais. Musgais. Yeah, that's a diminutive term because my dad, Toronto Kons, Randy's dad was Moose Guy, Mooses, so he's Moose Guys, Moose Guys, little Moose Guy. Okay, I'm, no, where am I? As, as, us, us. I'm going to take this word, dog. How do you say, how do you say dog? Nimush. Nimush. Okay, now I want to say little dog, little dog or puppy. Nimshes. Nimshes, yeah, that's one word. <laughs> but I'm looking for nimos. Nimos. Yeah, nimos is another word. See, there, that's the. If you're if you're really fluent, you would understand what Randy said when he said nimshes or whoever said nimshes. It means mm -hmm. darn little dog. Nimshes. It's a it's a pejorative term. Darn little dog. Nimshes. Okay. Number number Niwin number Niwin. Woo Niwin. Uh, how do you say stone? Guy guy. Sinyak de be. Sinyak de be. Naka. How do you say? Sin. No, I say rock. Sin. 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 Now I want to say little rock. Sinis. Yes, yep, Sinis, little rock. Sinis, Sinis. And there's another ending. There's another ending. This takes lots and lots of practice. Uh, Daban is, uh, I'm going to ask Kathy, how do you say little house? How would you say little house? Bigwamis. Bigwamis, yeah, Nishin, Nishin. Uh, Jai, how would you say? Uh, Little boat, little boat. Um, sorry, what? Sorry. Little, <laughs> boat, little boat, a little boat. Oh, this. Gimanes. Gimanes. 
Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to have another word. How would you say, uh, how would you say, uh, little coat, little coat, little coat. I'm going to write that down. Number five coat is, is be squagan. Be squagan this. Be squagan. Be squagan is coat. Be squagan is a coat. Uh, now I want to say a little coat. Which which, uh, one, which one of these would I have to use? As, ans, ons, or ins? Ons. Because of inanimate. Little coat. How would I say it? This one, ness. Ka. No. Ka. This organus. Now you drop the G A N, wouldn't you? Biscoagans. Biscoagans. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if there's a pattern to this, but uh, for us, we just know automatically how to say it. But to teach it is very hard. You, you have to practice and practice and practice. Uh, I'm going to take another word, which is, uh, I'm going to take the word, number of Godosa, I'm going to take the word store. Store. How do we say store? A diagamic. A diagamic store. So what's a diagamic go? A diagamic. Diagamic is store. A diagamic gong is at the store. Oh, okay. Ni pa ja a diagamic gong. Gi wa ma shi ken a diagamic gong. Giwam dan bejik adawega mik ode nang. Giwam dan bejik adawega mik ode nang. Now I want to say little store. What ending would I have to use? It'll be adawe adawegam gons. Adawegam gons. So this, these, like I said, it takes practice and practice and practice. The more reading that you do, the best book for this, if you buy Shirley Williams uh, Nishnabem, Nishnabem, Nishnabem book, it's a thick book. Uh, she has all kinds of words in there. She has 15 different ways of saying the word, one word, diminutive, uh, pejorative, locative, all kinds of ways. Naha. One more. I'm going to take another word, which is the uh, I'm going to take Nisho Asoe. I'm going to take the word horse. Bejogji. 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 Now, I want to say Bejogji. Little horse. I want to say little horse, which will be Bejogji. Jeans, special Google jeans, special Google jeans, little horse. And there's another different ending. Another different ending. There's my, so I got, oh, did I do double? Oh, I didn't do an S, S. I do got, okay, we, we asked uh, Jai to say, uh, we asked her to say yeah. both G Mon, G Mon. Yeah. I wanted to say little boat, which would be. G manes, G manes, G manes, G manes. And there's another, there's another, there's the other. This is the most popular ending right here, S. That's the most popular ending. G manes, we go mes, we go mes, muk manes. Oh, okay. How do we say, uh... oops, language, not there, we don't want to go there. I want to say Jean, sir. Jean, sir. Jean Swans. Jean Swans. Jean Swans. Jean Swans. I want to say. Duck Jigan. Fork. Duck Jigan. Now I want to say little fork. Little fork. Badakji Gans. Badakji Gans. 
another ending there. Uh, you know what you call in English? You call this a a teaspoon. That's what you call it in English. A teaspoon. In Nishnabe, in Nishnabe, we don't we don't say Nibi Shabo Mkon. We we say uh, we say uh, M M Kwanes little or a teaspoon M Kwanes for a little spoon. And the regular spoon, like your regular soup spoon, that's M Kwan. And then your M Kwan is for your when you're cooking, your cooking cooking spoon. So M Kwan S is your teaspoon, and your regular M M Kwan is your spoon, and your M Kwan is where you stir your pot with when you're making your beko masana boop. <laughs> you know what beko masana boop is, Jai? Beko masana boop. They, they make it, they make it, and they turn green, and they develop a wart on their face, and they have a long oh, is that pointy hat. Beko masana. That's a, those are witches, I think. Uh -huh. So this is a little bit of diminutive, diminutive terms. They all end with this. Uh, give, uh, how do you say flower? I'm going to do one more. Wascone. Yeah. That's my name. Wascones. Wascone. Wascone. Wascone green. Wascone is flower. Wascone would be a little flower. Wascone. So, do some people pronounce it a little bit differently? Waba. Huh? Waba. 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 Yeah, some people say Waba. Or like Waba. 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 Yeah, Waba. Yeah, they say that too. That's what this is. Waba. 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 are flowers. This is just little flower. Waba. And that's that's another whole lesson there. If you wanna, if you wanna put a uh, a noun with a diminutive and a location, all those three, a noun. I'm gonna do one sample. I'm gonna do one example. I'm gonna do. My noun is a wigwam. Wigwam. Now I wanna put a a noun. That noun with smallness. It'd be. We go a mess, we go on, we go a mess, we go a mess, we go a mess, we go a mess. Now I want to say, I want to put a locative on that. I would say, we go a mess, 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 sing, we go a mess, sing in, in the little house. This term here, ing, is a locative term. That's another whole lesson there. And these are, we just did these ones. We just did these words, diminutive. And this is my noun. My noun, my diminutive, and my loc locative. I put all of these together and I can say, we go on messing. The little house. House, little house, and then at the little house. So that's a whole, another whole lesson there. Ning nangagi kunomage randi. Today I taught Zoom at uh, Algoma, Algoma University. Abishiwe. You go to Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Yap deshki gzake odeni sajung. Migo a pichta, mitra pingi maja, mandigi sha, yishigya, migo te gito kushna. Gaiki, gaiki ndaji zin wena, kche em kwan. Gagego, minasna. It sounds like we're dancing, eh? <laughs> we could be like the Nadbe. Yeah! <laughs> just kidding. Don't, no way. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I just want to go back. Okay. So that's a whole other lesson. This is what we hear. You could do a noun, diminutive, and pejorative. Pejorative is like condescending words in Nishnabe. And there's certain endings like numush, that darn dog. Gnebogush, uh, that darn snake. Gitagush, uh, my darn knee. Mishkim uh, dash, my darn bag or purse. 
Shkimat is the word for purse we use. Shkimat. Shkimat for purse. We also use the same word for bag. Shkimat. So it depends how you use it in a sentence. You recognize how we're using it. Shkude wish. Shkude wish is that darn fire. Kwe wish. That darn woman. Ninish is that darn bad, that darn man, Ninish. That darn man over there is really bad. This darn woman helps him all the time. So the both of them are bad. Ninish, Quelsh, Gibadzo, they're bad. No. <laughs> Did you understand that, Kathy? Am I going too fast for you, Katharina? Too fast? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm like that. So this is a lesson here. One lesson. Smallness. Okay. Randy's got a story for you. Judge. Kdana. Yan and Judge. Huh? Kaya si. Any message? Kain go jit dop ma si. Kain na. Kaya si. Kain go jit dop ma si. Mahal. So, if you have a question, you can ask me to ask you 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 Did you eat all the gigo? Ka. Ka? Pangigo at goki mo. Gi no pugoze na gigo. Did it taste good? Oh, na yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my sentence. Gina Gugajep, Nin Minoa Wabos, Gi Pajame, Odenang. Me Jim, Dawegam Gung, Gishame, Minoa, Moccasin, Dawegam Gung. Gina Gugishep, Nin Minua Wabus, Gi Pashame, Odenang. Mijim, Dawegam Gung, Gi Jame, Minua, Makazin, Dawegam Gung. Tomorrow morning? Ah, ka, ka, ka. Yesterday morning. <laughs> Yesterday morning. I, ah, I always get those two mixed up. Yesterday morning, me and Rabbit. Went to the store? No, to town. Go to town, to the food store. That gi pajama, that means we went to. Oh, okay. We went to. No, that's good. Okay, <laughs> next sentence. Kathy? To town, to the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, to the grocery store, food store. Uh -huh. What's jame? Now I wrote gi jame. Me Jim that way I'm going to get you food store we went to. Minua. Into the shoe store. Into the shoe store, yes. Into the shoe store. That's good. That's very good. If you can read that and translate it, you are awesome. If you can't read that and translate that, you need help from me or Mr. Randy. Or I Mr. need help because I can't read it. You can't read it? Oh, no. Night. I don't know how to read, sir. <laughs> Well, good thing that you know me then. Right? Good, we, will, we, good. Will, we will be able to read all your stories. Well, you read, you read, you read my, well, when I built your house, you used to read bedtime stories to me. That's because you didn't finish one side of my house. <laughs> you only got half the story. Yeah, okay. <laughs> half the story. Up the, up the, up the, up the. Yeah, Randy built my cabin. You did a good job, man. 
but we're not finished. We're still, still on. I still got to get a hydro in there and uh, indoor facilities. Just that's just that's just going to be your storage. After we're, we're done that, you're going to want a big house for the uh, full immersion. When I, want, when I get the immersion going, I want a full house. But that full house, I will live. And uh, maybe my some of my kids will come and stay at that house during whatever house it is. Nikki will we'll have to make a 5,000 square foot longhouse. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what that, I always say. If it wasn't for the Mohawks, and all those Mohawks, all those that six nations, we would never have townhouses in the cities. Because they're the first ones to build townhouses. All those longhouses, they had each compartment was a house. Each compartment was a house where people live. And that's how the townhouses are been have been made, just like the longhouses. <laughs> they're not laughing, these Mohawks today. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jai, what are you yeah. doing? I said, looking. Are you marrying your food? Yeah. The mommy come that nigga the medium. She's not even paying attention to you. What are you drinking? How? Why would you say? How would you say that in Nishnabe? A minon W. What he said? <laughs> what do you say? Pop, pop. Uh, I know it's something that tastes good, but I can't remember how to say it. Minogamic. Minogamic. Minogamic gobble? Not gobble, just minogamic. I said gobble. Oh, minogamic. Minogamic. The stuff that tastes good. That's how we say pop, because it does say yeah. good. It didn't actually taste good, though, because I don't really like root beer. I was in a hurry, so I just was like, yep, yep, give me, give me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's if you can read this, you're awesome. If you can't read it, then you have to keep taking lessons till you learn how to read, read Nishinaabe. And then after that, reading and then writing. All the stuff that I wrote up here, all the kids in school can say that. And what I wrote here, they can translate. All the Well, from grade three and up, they can translate, which is awesome. And like everybody else that goes to that school, when they go to high school, when they go outside to learn, the Nishinaabe is gone because they don't have nobody to teach them Nishinaabe at high school. Mm -hmm. well, at, Hager, at Hagersville, they, they have they had Nikki, so I don't know what's going on there now, but they used to have Nikki teach mm -hmm. Nishinaabe there. <coughs> but there's so many, uh, so many people want Nish native language teachers. Uh, so many people are starting to teach the non-native people how to teach native language just a simple stuff and the uh, non-native teachers are teaching that in their schools which is terrible that's why i've always said all through the years take uh, indigenous studies and then take a linguist course in ojibwe or nishinaabe and then come back to your community and teach or around your community and teach nishinaabe all the people that i taught today they're all some of them are pretty good speakers they're from one, two, three, four, five different reservations all over Ontario, and they go to they go to uh, Saskatchewan at Ogaming uh, University, and uh, one guy he lives in Michikining, Michikining. He's a good speaker. Then I asked him, "Who do you have to talk to? Who speaks to you in the language around where you are?" He goes, "Nobody," but he talks to uh, Barbara Nolan on a daily basis. And Barbara Nolan is one of the best teachers of the Nishinaabe Moan language. And uh, that's how he maintains the language. And I always said, when you're learning the language, if there's a group of you like you guys are, you guys have to communicate with one another. You guys have to start your own Odenasan. Your Odenasan are communities, your little communities of language. Make a saswas, make a nest. Majigigdik, start speaking. Ask yourselves things in Nishnabe. And speak to yourselves in Nishnabe. This is the only way this is going to continue. If you are the only one that's going to learn and don't want to share it, it's going to stop. You have to speak. 
Na, Kathy, na, Jai. Jai posts things in Nishnabe now on her on her work site. That's good. Uh, Kathy, I don't know if she does the same thing, but Kathy also sings in Nishnabe, I think. Right, Kathy? I, I heard you sing in Nishnabe yeah. a few times. Yeah, Nisha, Nisha. That's Both good. Too. And Jai too. Jai speaks Nishnabe. <laughs> How about you, Katharina? What do you sing? What language do you sing? Um, English, French, Spanish, German. See, in no Nishinaabe. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll teach you a song. I'll teach you a song right now. I'll teach you a song right now. Uh, Get a no comes, big hearted grandmother. I thought, oh, nice to see you. Oh my god, Randy. <laughs> that's that's Randy's Nishnawe song. Okay, me I going. thought you were gonna teach her that song. <laughs> thank, thank you for everything. Okay. Hey, it goes like this. Hey, hey, da, hey, da, hey, hey, da, 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 hey, Panego in and this is true. For always being there. For always being there. Hey, hey da, hey da, hey da, hey da, hey da, hey get no come me great kin go Ye up jayin a panegua. Ye up jayin for always being there. So it's apane, not pane. Pane, a panegua. Oh, you could say apane or pane. Okay. A panegua, ye up jayin. So this is the grandmother's sound. This is the grandmother's sound. This was made by the Plains Ojibwe singers many, 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 many moons ago. We sing that one. We sang it for a couple times on um, the virtual hand drumming every Wednesday, Tuesdays. Yeah. Me and my mom and everybody. Yeah. This is a nice song. It's so nice to hear the women sing this song. Uh, one time, I remember when I first started going back to Anishinaabe world, started drumming and everything. And we were, remember the powwow used to be in, in Barrie at the horse track when the powwow was there? Mm -hmm. There was a grandmother, she was 89 years old and they came to me, the, the community came to me and asked if I can sing a Nishinaabe, like a grandmother's song. I go, yeah, I know one. So this is the song I sang for that woman back in that day, back in the day, way back then, you know, on the, on the big drum, so. So it was really, I was really honored when they asked me and uh, I was able to sing this in Nishinaabe. So I was so happy. And that's the year I won the, me and Marcella, we won the uh, dance off for couples dance, couples dancing. Yeah, we, we won that there, year, that, that year over there with that. That was so funny. What year was that? I don't know, it's a long time ago. It used to be down by the Grace Track. I can't remember what year. The one was like all dusty and like, not that, not that one, not that one. Far, down by the right in town. When you drive into Barry. Oh, okay, there. yeah. There. Before yeah. it moved to um that right. uh that open field where you blow around yeah. all over the place. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Down the hill, down the hill by the racetrack, by the original old racetrack. That's where it used to be. It would have been like two thousand three, two thousand four. I don't know. Oh, still. Oh, that was earlier than that. <laughs> 
You probably weren't even born yet, Jai. <laughs> so, Katerina, this is the grandmother's song, the first part of it. There's a, get an open mess, me, which can I open and go, ye up, she ate. you have to say get there. Don't say get there. Get there means old. Get there means a big heart. Get there. Get there. Get there. A big heart. So you have to say get there. Don't say get there. Get there. Miigwech kina gego gede no kamis hoyaham. Yep. And then you repeat this part in the second verse. Oh, no, you repeat the whole thing. Yeah. So you just gotta hear the hey, hey, da, hey, da, ho, way, yeah. That's the lead. Hey, hey, da, hey, da, ho, way, yeah. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, get it, no, come in, it's me, which can I get go, panagua, ye, up, ji, I, hey, oh, hey, oh, me, which can I get go, get it, no, come in, Wait a hey, don't you say it all over again? Get in, no, come in, it's me, which can I get go? Panegua, ye up, ji, I, wait a hey, da, me, which can I get go? Get in, no, come in, wait a hey, do. There, that's a grandmother's song there, Katharina. Beautiful. It is beautiful. That's awesome. All our songs are awesome. All our songs are awesome. My grandson uh, composed some songs already in the language, and they're pretty good. It's awesome, awesome. Now, how? I'm going to give the floor to Randy Wigigidat to talk and to share his knowledge of the woods and the waters and everything that he knows. Randy is also an artist an artist, he draws images on eagle feathers, on eagle feathers. Those are really, really something else. I really, I've seen him do that work. Wow, it's amazing. Chigegu Awen. Now, Randy, can you come in and just a quick day? I thought you were just going to keep going there with my resume. I don't, I can't write the Bible again. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go offline here a little bit. Um, my, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna show it to you anyways. Can you see that picture? Okay. That was my son. He was in ER in Sudbury and he, Got a nail through his hand, so he was just messaging me some um, some of the procedures they had to do to get that nail out of his hand uh, with a you know one of those nailers. How it happened, I don't know, but he's safe at home and he's fine, and he says he's tougher than nails. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Yeah, there's a nice three and a half inch, four inch nail. Yeah, it went right through here, but it stayed in between. It didn't come out anywhere. Ah. It stayed in between. Wow. So they were, they managed to get it out with any um, damages to his nerves. And that's what they say anyways, but we don't know. Um, I just told him to rest it for seven days. Don't do nothing with it. 
don't use it, just rest it. Otherwise, you will suffer by the time you're 35 or, or 40. You will have developed a terrible case of arthritis on that hand, and it will not be a happy time at that age. So I says it's best to rest for seven days. That's this doctor's, that's the dad um, telling the boy, listen to your dad, not the doctor. <laughs> um, anyways, <clears throat> nah, nah, um, I was, uh, I'm gonna speak a little bit of this foreign language first and um, perhaps uh, share a little bit about it in the language, but I want to share a story also. Um, I've been in uh, great discussions with a lot of um, language interpreters, language teachers, language learners within the past week <clears throat> from all over all over the continent, um, North America, in regards to uh, this language that we're learning today in Shnabemwin and other languages. <clears throat> um, you know, I applaud Mr. James Shawana Male for teaching the writing part. I, I'm very serious when I told him I don't know how to spell that. Um, and I don't want to ever learn how to spell it um, because that is not me. I am an Ishnabe and those letters don't belong to me. Um, so I don't mix them like uh, we mix a, a lot of other stuff. I think we mix way too much stuff already. I don't, I feel I don't need to mix those. There are enough people like James that teaches that. Um, and I applaud all of those people that teach that. My part in the language is how can I teach that in another way, another effective way like Male does. Mine is true to land and I call that um, Nishnabe Madzoid, Nishnabe Adzoid, and it's true land-based teachings, land-based work, land-based living, land-based healing. And when I teach the language true land base, I uh, ask a lot of the people, the participants to feel what we're doing. Um, Jed, I invited a number of days ago to join me in lifting the nets. Um, Jed saw how cold it can be out there. Ksena, you know, when you feel the cold wind, north wind, uh, 27 below zero winds. Ksena minash beskok ninjuj. And you live that, you feel that cold wind, and you feel the cold in your hands, you're going to remember those words forever because you feel it, you live it. Uh, we had another guest. Um, from another reserve, Wayne Trudeau joined us. He saw me pulling the fish out of the nets without gloves, without mitts, without anything, just bare hands. And he tried to do that and his hands froze after the second fish. And he was freezing, he was hurting. Um, he will never forget those words. Bishkok Ninjuj. Gai go mamda. I, uh, he will never forget those words. I, I just cannot go any longer. My hands are freezing. Um, you, he lives though. He lived those words. He lived that. And he will never forget them. Um, Jed took some fish home. His wife cooked it. And up it was so delicious. You know, it tastes different when the fish was alive an hour ago, two hours ago. It tastes way different. So up is that's in his head forever, in his heart forever. He lived it. You know, so when we live 
out these words through land-based learning, we never forget those words because you lived them. And if you're constantly learning these words on the land or on the water or wherever you may be, but outside, and you're speaking fluently or you're living or you're participating with someone that speaks fluently, you become a part of that way. And then something inside you starts, it's like you're getting the paddles into your spirit, poof, and gives you a jolt every time a new word comes and it jolts that Nishnabemu inside you. And it stays in you because it now becomes alive. Now, when we go, you know, every now and then, maybe once a week, um, by the end of that week, if you don't practice that jolting of those words, you forget. So if we live these words, and this is why I continue to press an immersion language course where we're on the land and we're there for seven days or longer or and then we're learning from the lands and we teach people how to take off their socks and feel the land on their feet um, feel the water on their feet and you're living this way of life but in Nishnabemwin you'll never ever forget those words that's how profoundly awesome it is to live this way through language um, you become healthier. Um, the water tastes different. Everything is just tastes different when you start living that way. Um, a lot of people question when, how, where, how do you do this? Well, start off in your own backyard. Um, you know, put your feet in cold water. Back in the day, we still jump in the water. At this time, we used to still jump in the water. That jolted your body. That was healing. A lot of these things that we don't talk about in our classrooms, in our institutions, where we actually do them on the land, they're very, they're very powerful. Now, Jai King Green often talks about um, taking a trip, and it doesn't have to be a trip to Manitoulin Island, it could be a trip to maybe two hours north of Toronto, um, maybe to a park and living this way or taking a class up there even for a weekend just to just to give that jolt of that language, maybe take Molly out to a park over there with a couple of buckets of KFC and Molly has a fire going and teaching all the students this language with bare feet, touching the ground with bare feet um, you know, actually feeling the, oh, it's not make me, you know, actually feeling that mosquito biting you, you know, and, um, you know, if that, <clears throat> um, machki jumps, you know, in front of you, you, you'll never forget these words because you're actually living it when the frog jumps in front of you and scares the bejeebies out of you or snake. And then you say them in the language and, oh, it's a total different way of learning. Absolutely, totally. It becomes alive. It lives in you. And having these jolts every now and then, that language stays in you. It stays alive and you've be you become passionate for it. You, uh, I guess in an English term, you become in love with the way of living and learning that language. You've, you've fallen in love with this. And then when that happens, transformation happens in you as a person, as a woman, as a man. You know, so I encourage everyone to continue to listen to this man, James Shauna. He has excellent ways of teaching the language. He has excellent ways of spelling it. I don't belong there. I don't do that. I belong on the land where I teach a different way. Um, and it's very humorous, it's very sacred. Um, you know, and some of those things, there are a lot of people in Southern Ontario that can do what I do. <clears throat> and um, there are also 
when I say this, be very careful who you speak to. And Mollet knows who they are. And if he's not sure, he always calls me up. Hey, Randy, what, what do you think about this guy? Um, be very careful of some of the language teachers and language knowledge keepers um, <clears throat> that are in the southern, southern Ontario or in that area or that come down there. Because I've talked about this a few days ago on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, we have a lot of young men and women out there, you know, impersonating indigenous knowledge. Um, and I've worked, I mentioned before, I worked with over 300 doctors in Ontario. Um, a lot of these doctors ask me, hey, Randy, what do you think of so-and-so? And what do you think of so-and-so? And I says, well, very simple. If they're teaching indigenous ways of life, indigenous medicine especially, if they're teaching you that or trying to teach you, and if they're doing it only in this language, which is English, if they're only teaching you this in English, then there ain't nothing indigenous about it. In order for you to learn a Anishinaabemowin or anything ind indigenous, learn that language first. Then it's profound after that. It's amazing. It's healing. You know, I always say this language is always healing. Um, very so often I speak to Mala and talk to him about the loss of his brother and the loss of my son. And sometimes we, we feel better when we talk in the language about these losses. You know, it's amazing if we spoke about these in English, our conversation would be very short. But when we speak about it in our language, the conversation is lengthy and healing. And that's the difference between our language. Um, so I'd say Jimmy Gwetch for listening to my uh, foreign language English here. I tried to speak, um, tried to speak the best way I can so everybody can understand me. I hope Sonia heard every word I said. And Megan, did you hear everything? Did I stumble on some words? Do I need to say it in Nishnabemwin now so you can understand better? Um, <clears throat> I will say a little bit, I'll say this for, for uh, Male also, uh, and those that understand me. Um, <clears throat> um, Me <laughs> Mishagishan, 
Ya bu şu şey be şu koy ya. Bizin şeş mi geyim abına? Mişko gago gaçın gi ştasi boçi diyan. Mişko gi 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 gidet mi abi be şu koy. Çü bizin şey dek mişe gidet. Gago gago nen gendik. Şkoğan je nan yi bu ek kosen kıza. Beka gendik şmina. O na gen. Abçuku gen neşin mego ed nakiyin mina eşe madziyin diksa. Winin na andik. Ne hao gen arış. Mişko mişko neylega aşı muş doğan dok koy gınan kine mincesin. Mi budak sen onunla. Beş boş koş gınan. Ke gavun da bicma mangin endim. Minaş danun do ne seç kong nani but. Mi goe ga pichenam skuzi mu ko ga kede to koe. Mi de she mande enen ma pane mande gish ga kso gish ga pin ne boche ding. Ab jugo ne shin mande en nakin. En nakin gana. Minaş geni majin go Kucin ve madzıcık. Uyun sastı mod mende ekno mage. Abicuko geni mamiko endem. Nungu nunç. Na apiko geni dumana dendem. Mina nopskuik dendem. Oneşke gina api manda ue maci bidek. Ue maci aş. Ue maci aş kamıgık. Manda mana denem oyn. Dene endem ka. Mirişko mina o. Şko enak den ma min sastıma abdek kumanda nin endam mina abdek kumanda ni muştot. Uyinin nan duet ziyan. Mirişko enen sastıma abdek şko beşik endan minaş. Uneş na pi ve maç tayin mi gö şarjo gün oğmak ma ben salı bakınek. Salı bakınek ya ba abdek ni ma biyo ma ba ma lende den dam mişko mina gün oğmak mina. Ya ba ngoda bakınek ya ba abdek şko. Güey ben de buna. Babi ton. Manda we match time. Miş bina ne piçamı gök şarj gö. Miş miş şarjı piçamı gök mi mi giş tayin. Esna babı gendilen de. An iştiş. Gud bigi son şap. Teş güet goşi biga de. Ne boç edin. Güid batı min manda. E piçim gök neşna ben moin. Mi sığo abdek. Uyem çoğun ama mina. Gönü me giyicik. Gönü me giyicik abdek. Ni dep seni manda. En nakki en şimdi. Mi sığa yeni gel ki diyan. Çimi gö çiki bizi nemik. Kiçici bir gel. Ne gö ki diyan male. Ma gel. Gıdan sastı ma gel. Bangi gö ki diyan. Va. อ่ะเอพีเอพีเอพีเอพีน่ะอันนี้ไงเอพีคิมก็เอพีคิมก็นิชนาเบวินสเตชเทนต์ออฟเดนิชนาเบอ่าเดบอยกูเอกิดเด
and the water would run from the well all the way down to the to the lake to the beach <clears throat> and that then then we would just walk and we would get our water from there all winter all year round because we had no running water we had a a kitchen stove this was all open this is all one room one room and then later on over the years my dad built a a, a desk got Pitos, pitos, pito, 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 I just know it's this guy. A shed in the back of the house. And that's where we kept our firewood for the winter. We would bring all the firewood inside for the winter. And we would use the cook stove for cooking. And we would use the box stove for heating up the place. We would use the box stove to heat up in the morning. Then we would only put fire in the wood stove when it was time to cook. When it was time to cook, when my mother would cook. And we had hydro, we had no running water. Uh, I don't think we even had a TV. We didn't have a TV. No, we didn't have a TV. So, <clears throat> and we lived down by the, down by the lake. We, if you go to Wiki, you'll see the docks. And if you go look towards the west, around that bay, there used to be a log house there. That's where our house used to be. It would have been there, but my brother Gordon, terrible guy, uh, burnt the place down. That log house sort of would have been there. I would have been using that log house. It was still there. But uh, yeah, and then, like I said, we wouldn't get our beach, our kibis every day. Buckets of pails in the house. In the house. Uh, and we would boil, we used to use those uh, great big tubs, those tubs. And we would fill them up with water and and, and boil the water. And that's, that's where we would take our baths when we were kids in, in the winter time. In the winter time. That's where we would wash up. So this is this is all. There was no English here, no English at all. Kinawegogi Nishinabe would everything was in the Nishinabe language, and this is how we grew up. One of our friends, Josh, he's not here today, but he said that Kimadzeme Anishinabe would we lived the Nishinabe life. Ki Adzeme Adzeme is our culture. Adzeme is our culture. It's Nishinabe Nishinabe Moin Nishinabe language. That's who we are. Guy we need to all see much organized. We are not English. Guy we need to all see much megwe. We are not foreigners. Kim and my piki sigo me king. We were put here on this land. <clears throat> this is goes way back. We not do anything. We not do anything to take care of it. Dash manda ake can not do any mogu me, and then the land will take care of us. That was our. Philosophy. That was me Alenamong. Me Agaga thought Nishnabe. That's what the Nishnabe were told. The Debenjget, the one who owns everything. We, we we have a few names for him. We say Debenjget, the one that owns everything. We say Jemanedo for the good spirit. Uh Gichimanado for the great spirit. That's, we're all talking about the same person when we do that. We're all talking about the same person. Gami Gwet the one who gave everything. Uh we might sing one peaking. Uh, to, for us to live here on this on this earth, on this king. Miwe. Miwe na nenamowen na. That's in our thoughts. Miwe ga bishik no magoang. That's how we were taught. Miwe wokken ming. That's what we have to know. We might sing one peking to live on this earth. We wich ga we toin. We seek. We not kena etek ga going To stand with all the animals and all the things that we were given. Man pi. A king. Randy got it. Guy man, they should be seen. Randy does not write, write it. Randy manda mads. Randy lives this. Randy kunumage manda madzu in eshiging. He teaches the way of life. That's how our grandparents taught us when we were kids. There was no writing. They told us, you in magome, or shichigam, what to do. Kishpindish, we see it in. And if he got hurt, that's your fault. Because he didn't listen. Kinjida. <laughs> Kimaji, you made an error. And I talked about that today with my students when we were small. You got young. We took medicine. And that medicine we drank was a Gishgandak cedar. Gishgandak Nibishabo cedar tea. That's what we drank. And then there was another medicine that our grandmothers and our mothers used to make. If we had if we had something wrong inside, something wrong with you inside, 
they would boil red willow. The scooby, scooby muck, I think that's what they're called. They would boil that and we would drink it. That would, if we had diarrhea or something, we would drink that. And then if we got cut, our grand Nukumis would put a leaf. I know what leaf it is too, but I don't know how to say it in English. I just recognize it. And that, that'll clean so your, so your cut won't get infected. It'll lift all that stuff out. And, and then you just, and then you let it dry. You give it air to dry after that when it's all clean. Tanabate and Kalamnaya, you let it dry and then you'll heal. All those things that, that was our, our grandmothers did that and our great grandmothers, mom Minna and then I remember all those uh, medicines that they gave us when we were small. But there are some that I forgot that I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, uh, pine cones, pine cones. Um, we used to get those from my grandmother and she would grind them down, but I never knew what she used them for. Grandma Menenzin, I can't remember. And that's the thing. All those things about medicines and that that our grandmothers did when we were kids, we remember them. We remember them, but uh, we just remember them by, we could still see them in our head. We could still see our grandmothers in our head making those things. And we still see ourselves as children in our head. The How we were healed by our great grandparents, great great grandparents, our grandmothers, our grandfathers. Mr. Mustak Cook Masnanet. Mom and in that way, Minash Guy Abjengi Akasasi Magabum. And in the winter time, we we didn't catch colds. We were used to the weather, like Randy said. You grow with the weather. Me well. Even with the year, you grow with the year. You're going to feel winter. You're going to feel spring. You'll feel summer. And you're going to feel when it's fall, autumn. Nishnabe used to feel everything. When you touch that grass, Mendegego wingash, especially street gas. Kamoshtun. Gina Magatwe. That's very sharp. Kagishkun Gunwe. Wingash. Gishpin. Kait Kibido seen where we never know we could be doing. It'll cut you if we don't pick it and pull on it properly. It's very sharp. Minash Kabij Mamdan. Yeah, and you and you can smell it. Kabij Mamdan. We used to pick bundles like this of street grass, me and my mother and us boys. We go street grass speaking. The bar wingash came. She could meet me no wingash and give me yet on We would bring home lots of wingash. And in the winter time, we go us came. We would go get birch bark. And then we would make little canoes. Jimanesen, we go mason. Minana, Tikanagasen, Tikanagasen, little little apples. Tikanagasen. And that was craft work that we did every winter. And we did that all, all, winter, all winter long. But. Bebun, bebun, all winter, bebun. And but uh, did my my parents drank, so they would the money they make selling, they would go buy booze and uh, and some a little bit of food. So uh, that that was that was that was the biggest problem with uh, the drinking and did drinking. And that's the one thing I gave up long time ago. And I know Randy gave it up long time ago was to quit drinking. That was the best medicine, stop drinking. You know, because we were abusing ourselves, we were abusing our family and our children. Uh, we weren't treating them right, so. Uh, once we stopped drinking, it was great for the whole family. Yeah, so don't drink. Nishin, no question. I mean, I don't take drugs. It's okay to smoke some peyote. Just kidding. Put <laughs> 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 your pipe in the bush. But stay by yourself in the bush. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Actually, my dad was going to show me that in, in uh, around around there. Around where we live, I'll show you what that medicine is. But he died before we went for our medicine walk. So, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, I wanted to also reiterate, um, boy, Randy is sure what he said, but you know, man, Pinika, Nishna, Bek, Ayalchik. There's a lot of Nishinaabe down here. Kidok Kendana, they they say they know it. Mendigego uh, Shaganashi, only in English. 
Nishnal be amongst you gagi kenzina. Minosh gagi kenzin nam nick o me guat man nipskicke. Anis pitching bang what up no man nipskicke. They don't know the dosage of this medicine to give. We know how long you should take it. Gagi kenzin now. They don't know that. Get zimanic, man, get you get zimanic. Our parents and grandparents, they knew about the medicines, the Nishnabe way, but not the real way. So um, me and Randy shared that knowledge with you guys, and because uh, we, we still remember our teachings with medicine with our parents and grandparents. No, uh, Randy, get them. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to also express. Um... Oh, um, I wanted to share this. He sent me a picture of his, um, I don't know if you could see the nail right through the hand. So he says, I'm like Male. He says, uh, I'm, I know what it feels like for a nail to go through my hand. He says, we're like Jesus, he says. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, oh, I'll show you my hand. I'll show you my hand. See my hand? That's oh. my hand. See the hole in my hand? So I also can walk on water, but only in January, February. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> when the ice melts, I can't walk on water no more. <laughs> okay, Randy, and just go on. <laughs> yeah. Um, to everyone, um in this class in the in the program in this activity of learning our language um however you may give thanks or however you pray i ask that you include in your prayers every night um that you absorb the words that you learn, that you ask creator, that you ask our mother earth to help you absorb these words in your spirit, in your body. Pray for that daily. Make that a part of your life because a part of being an Anishinaabe is uh, we give thanks every day for everything. And giving thanks is what helps your spirit receive all the good stuff that is being offered. So if you give thanks, and I say by giving thanks, some people say pray. Um, we don't pray as Anishinaabe people. We're always giving thanks no matter what. Um, um, <clears throat> like through, through the Zoom class tonight, I'm expressing true text to my son um, by giving thanks for what happened today, what happened with that nail gun and a nail driving through his hand. I said, give thanks for that because there is purpose. You don't know it. You don't know why that happened, but give thanks for that happening today because something major might have happened. Something worse would have happened, but it was a little thing that happened. Now give thanks to that. You may not know the other reason what would have happened, but give thanks for that too. And not just the good stuff, but all the other stuff, everything, give thanks for that. So when you learn languages, um, words from Male, <clears throat> give thanks to Male because his humor um, brightens our evenings every Wednesday. Uh, his word, his all his words brighten us. They, it feels good inside because he's a wonderful, good looking man with a good sense of humor. Um, even though uh, Jai Green sometimes has to pull the reins on him saying, whoa, whoa, easy, my lad, take it easy. But, um, you know, it's all good, you know. So give give thanks every day for, for all the words that we're learning from Mr. Male and give thanks that you absorb all these words. I, I'm grateful for Jed and Shay, Shay for spending time with me on the ice. Um, I know they learned some new words. 
I know those words are going to stay with them. Um, I give thanks for that time they spent with me. You know, uh, maybe someday all of you will get on Jai King Green's, um, um, what is that, um, BMW Sprinter van. And you guys will all come here in her, her BMW Sprinter van. <laughs> I don't have a BMW. <laughs> I have a car. You guys can all try and pile in like a clown car. Yeah. So I anyways, I, I just <laughs> wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to express that, um, give thanks on a daily basis for the, the Nishna Bemwin that you learn because um, that goes a long, long ways. That's part of the transformation that you're gonna get in learning to speak a Nishna Bemwin. It's a, it's a gratifying transformation and it's life-changing, you know. Uh, one of the things I learned, um, because I'm an Ishnabe and I was born with this language, <clears throat> um, probably die with it, but I know my life has changed drastically um, four times already. Once was when my mother died over 28 years ago. Um, then when, my, when I sobered up 27 years ago, and when my father died two years ago, and when my son died eight months ago. So my life has transformed, you know, all, all the way around, um, but all for good. I believe that. And the only healing that the grieving has for me is the language. The language is what's healing me. And I continue to use it. I share a lot of videos on Facebook lately. Um, I try and tag Male on all of them. I hope he gets them and I hope he shares them with you. If you're not my friend on Facebook, then watch them in Male's Facebook or in his Nishtan Bemuin channels. Um, they're all about the land. <clears throat> and if you don't understand some of the words, just give Male a text and he'll translate it to you and he'll help you write it. Right, Male? Huh? Yeah. It's true, it's true, it's true. I want to touch the it happened for a purpose. I remember the old people, they used to say, it happened on purpose. Something else was being stopped. For more disaster. That would happen to you for a reason. They stopped it so that other awful thing won't come to you. That's what they used to say. That's what they used to say, the old people. And when, when we were little kids, we hear them speaking. So that's what exactly what Randy was talking about with his son, with that nail going through there. Something else worse could have happened. That's why that happened. There is a teaching there. Uh, that's what I know. Keeps on the walk and uh, get conscious. The old ones. When I used to, that's one thing I miss. When I was a little boy, we would sit there and all these people would talk. All the older people were talking the language and they talk about amazing stuff. If you remember them, but it's very hard to remember now because I'm we're getting older and older. And it's hard to remember all those old sayings, but remembering them speaking the language when we were kids. Nobody spoke English. It was so awesome. I was happy at that time. I didn't know what was outside the reserve. All I knew was the the reserve, the leftover land. That's all I knew. And whatever I watched on TV. TV. <clears throat> you didn't watch TV till you were older because you guys didn't have hydro. No, we didn't watch TV till I was older. We were, we were, we weren't poor. We had no. all kinds of stuff. We, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like now. I like I have this TV in my office work area, and I have another TV in my living room. The great big TV that I watch. That I have. I watch hockey on that TV. I gotta go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 
Aha. You men dog, what's the go? It was fun again, Manda. Randy, where's that shirt I bought you? Abish got me now. Got me now, Bagoyan. Bagoyan got me now. But we can't move the shirt beast come on. Oh yeah, I wear it only on rodeo days. Rodeo days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on cowboy days. Okay. I bought him over. I gave him a shirt last summer that I bought. It was a I, I didn't even wear it once. It was a Western style uh, shirt. I guess so Randy, come on, look at me and I want to give you this, I said. And that's the thing too, right? you give gifts in Nishinaabe, you just give them like that. Because you know, you've been friends or you've been doing uh, good things for one another, you know what I mean? Good, good jobs, whatever. And just being good to one another. And then you get a gift, unexpected gift now and then. Like today, I got a steak instead of kukushwiyas. <laughs> And Jai ate uh, pinik, that's good quite enough, French fries. Minoan, uh, and a hamburger. Yeah. Hamburger is still Bishiki we ask. Bishiki we ask. Yeah. You, you, had a hamburger, you had a hamburger at a fast food restaurant? Uh oh, you're going to trouble now? Yeah, from NW. That's uh, not even hamburger. Did you know that only 5% of that is a uh, beef? 5%. Oh, non good. <laughs> and the rest of it is hen, um, human made, man made, man made uh, product that looks like hamburger, that's supposed to taste like hamburger. And it's, it's not even like, like, <laughs> like, even if you let that hamburger sit for a week. It's just like McDonald's. If you let the hamburger from McDonald's sit for a month, it still looks like oh, yeah. the day you bought it. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. And it's the same with A&W. You, you let that sit there, it's going to look like a hamburger after a month. The only thing that'll decay is a tomato if you put tomatoes in it. But if you get a moose burger, <laughs> if you get a moose burger, that moose burger after a day, if you let it sit, you already see... Uh, part of the fat coming out of it and you know it's pure meat and it has good iron in it don't eat a and w again i never want to see that that ad again that fake, no w yeah don't go for fake we ass go for the real we ass was <laughs> <laughs> caitlin always saying show me the meat <laughs> that's what caitlin says oh my goodness well i'm my own hunter um so i go hunting at a &W. oh you go hunting at a w yep and wendy's god i'm horrible i eat chicken because that's almost real meat i shot a partridge the other day and i had that was my chicken yeah, that was our chicken, our partridge, banana, mm -hmm. banana. And uh, we used to eat turkey all the time. And then the settlers came and told us we could only eat it at Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. Yeah. What the uh, bologna sandwich is going on there? That was yeah. one of You could hear them in the summertime when you're walking. You could hear them go like that. That's what they sound like. They're flapping their wings. And on top of that, it doesn't they sound stop, like, they, it doesn't they sound stop like you they stop you from eating the turkey but they tell you to eat bologna every day yeah bologna is good it's not bologna is no i'm not even gonna say what's in that it's As like entrails it's like cleaning your guts bologna you know part of the bologna i seen this we went to the factory they put all the bum the anuses of the Pig in there and the, all the animals, they crush them and then they make that big sausage bologna. So you're eating like a bunch of bum holes. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's, same that's thing, the same thing with wieners. Don't eat wieners. <laughs> you're getting a lesson here today, guy. We're getting that time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Randy's like the, the soup Nazi on, on uh, Sandfeld. Holy! I'll be on it for you! <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, no bologna for you today. No! 
Yeah, that's the that's the baloney Nazis, like the soup Nazi on Steinfeld. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but I so when I okay. when you, I made my partridge soup there the other day, I had wild rice with it, Molly. The yeah. wild rice that I planted in my pond and harvested. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got to try it when you come over sometime. Mmm, man, go get your padad. Go get your padad. I'll taste it and I'll try it. Go get your padad. Go get your padad. How do you feel? Go get your padad. I'm going to plant some cherry trees too this year. Cherry trees. We go, we go, Sminak. We go, Sminan. We go, Sminan. Yeah, we go, Smin is a cherry tree. We go, Sminatik is a cherry tree. Yeah. We go, Sminatik is a cherry tree. Yeah. So next week, I am smoking fish. Yeah. Um, I'm collecting maple syrup um, and then I'm marinating the white fish in the maple syrup. That's after I let them soak in a little bit of salt the day before. And then I let them dry. And then I soak them and marinate them in maple syrup. And then I let them dry again a little bit. Then I hang them in the smokehouse, but I use a brush to brush a little bit of maple syrup that's already cooked and add my secret spices in it. Mm. Delicious. Oh, is that old Indian recipe? Old yeah, betcha. Recipe. Holy baloney. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have my uh, maple leaf stick of baloney. I'm almost running out. <laughs> I'm going to go buy another one. So that's, that's, they'll last me a week and a half, off and on, sandwiches. I cut it like that thick. I cut it like that thick. And I make Just cutting bumbles. Yeah, I cut, I cut, I buy the stick, man. The whole stick, I bought the stick. <laughs> the stick, man. All man. right, then. Chibi Gwetch, Kathy, Jai, Katarina, Jed, Shay, Ria, Megan, Fiona, Gordon. Miigwech. Miigwech, everybody. I'm going to say the Me? same to you. Miigwech, Pamapi. I hope you guys learned something today. Randy was uh, told some pretty good stories there, pretty good facts about Nishinaabe. Awesome, awesome. It was awesome. Nishin, Nishin. And uh, I don't know about that Mali guy. I'm going to watch out for him. He's okay. Yeah, yeah he, he eats a lot of bologna. Right. <laughs> a lot of bologna. Well, a lot of bum holes. <laughs> Jai is all the bum holes and wieners. Ah, uh, <laughs> Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. Bum hole, yeah. Bum hole, people, we want to go out, man. Miigwech. That's why we're recording.